Dean Brown here for Exotic Guitars and Effects. Um, we're checking out this new exotic volume control pedal. It's, uh, it's fantastic. I love how, uh, how supple it is, how even it is. And uh, um, I've been talking about various different ways that I use it, but one of the classic uses, usages for, uh, for a volume control pedal is uh, swells and what that basically is is uh, you start from nothing and and play uh, a chord or a note and then bring the volume up on that note now what I do um, uh, just a little uh, a brief run around the pedal board here uh, is kind of important um, um, in terms of the signal path so um, I'm I've got the super sweet on, which is kind of a boost, and it's a nice pedal. Uh, just warms things up, and and it, and it it just makes uh, what you're basically doing a little louder and a little fatter. Um, to just that's the sort of cliff notes description of what that pedal does. I'm just leaving that one on. Um, so meanwhile, let's talk about what happens before the volume pedal and what happens after it. Um, Everything before the volume pedal is that for me is things like uh, um, uh, like the BB Plus, which is kind of a, a you know a, a fancy boutique distortion pedal, and um, the, a wah wah pedal, uh, the Robo Talk, which is like a uh, um, uh, an envelope filter. It has two different uh, envelope filters that are available. Um, and all those things I like to have previous to the volume pedal because I don't want them to be affected by, like, by the volume. If I had put something after, like for instance a distortion pedal, if I put it after the volume pedal, and some people like to do that, but I don't, but, but the, um, the reason I don't like that is because then if I lower the volume, it's going to lower the amount of signal to that distortion pedal, which is going to... Um, make it sound uh, less overdriven. I'd rather do that from the guitar, um, the amount of signal that goes into that pedal. Okay, so now we're talking about swells, and this is very important. Um, I put anything that's sort of like a, a delay or like a chorusing or stuff like that, I put that type of stuff after the uh, the volume pedal and what that allows me to do is check this out um, so now I've turned on two um, uh, delay pedals one of them is a kind of a medium delay and the other ones a very long one um, and so if I were to have those pedals before the volume control pedal then what would happen is if I uh, turn the volume control pedal off all of that would go away like there would be no sound, um, but if you put the vol if you put the uh, delay pedals after, then watch what happens. Well, now there's like a cross fade going on. Uh, I could maybe demonstrate it even more if I. Uh, I'm going to put a, uh, an overdrive sound in with that. And so now this is going to have this sort of a synthy violin effect, but that overlaps. And that, that, so that, for me, is a very nice thing because it sounds uh, smoother than stuff just going away. See if I uh, and the more I hit it, um, the more it it stays after because it's uh, obviously um, the harder you hit any particular um, effect pedal, the more effect it's going to give you. Um, so let's see how this 
works with maybe like uh, I'll, I'll play some stuff against a little groove and I'll just mainly be doing uh, swells.